All right, what's up everybody? This is your friend in the arts, Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist, for that matter. And uh, yeah, baby, just getting some paintings here, doing some paintings, painting, painting, painting. Let's do this, baby. All right, so I'm gonna paint some pears for you all. Let's see how this goes. Well, that's not a pear, but that's a, that's a bowl where we put our pears. That's a pear. That's a pear right there. That's a pear. Oh, I love that. I nice see you too. Thank you. And then we'll put a pear right here. That's about right. I like how some people call this my my. They say I like your um, your your cubist style, and I'm like cubist. <laughs> I do like it when people when people call it that. Sounds cute. From Brazil, obrigado Brazil. What's happening? Paint some pears and see just see where it goes, you know. No, no need to, no need to nothing to see where it goes, see where the whole thing goes. I love that, see? From the Brazil. Rio de Janeiro. Love that. Dude, I need to go to Brazil. I miss I miss all kinds of good stuff from Brazil. I'm missing. I haven't been there. I don't miss it. I'm missing it. Carnavale, Shusha, I miss Shusha, man. What happened to Shusha? Look at that. What's happening? Christmas was awesome. 
Christmas was awesome. How was yours? How was how was how was your 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 celebrations? I don't know. Do do you y'all celebrate Christmas or not? It's all good. It's all good. We're all we all celebrate something some at some point. Look at that. Hello, 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 what's happening? Pernabam, per, Pernambuco. Love that. What's happening? Man, that's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like I ate way too much. I'm feeling like, uh... I was telling my, I was telling my girl earlier, I was like, baby, I think I ate too much because I feel like I feel a little bit out of it. I feel like I just, you know, I feel like a Roman. I feel like I just laid there and just ate. <laughs> like a Roman. Not a modern day Roman, okay? So I don't want people being like, oh my God. No, like Romans, like, like back in the day Roman. Like, like two, three thousand years ago, Roman. Two thousand, two thousand years ago. So said Augustus Romanus. Nulo Romano. Look at that. Beautiful. And sometimes it's just about that, baby. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Just painted a pair. Nice. Yeah, pairs are pairs are fun. They're also, they're also pretty self-explanatory. You know, it's not like a, if you paint a if you paint a, an apple and you're doing it in in some sort of expressive way, you know, you're gonna have people telling you that that it might not be an apple. They might have people telling you that it's a it's a that it's an orange or <laughs> or or that it's a it's a peach or something else. But pears pears uh pears don't hide. You know, they don't hide who they are. They're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I mean, you you know, you have to be a very uh, special type of person to be like, that's not a pear, you know. But uh, yeah, they, they they don't hide. They don't hide who they are. That's what I love about them too. Look at that. Mmm, what's your bueno, baby? All kinds of good stuff in this pair. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna put some, some. Uh, I wanna put some of this color down here. Just cause I think I can, you know. Sometimes you just do stuff cause you think you can, and then you realize that you did, that you could do it, and so you should do it.
Look at this. Uno Gris. Man, gray is good. What's happening, Bill? What's happening? How's it going, Patricia? What's happening, Bill? What's happening, Patricia? Those are my jams right there. Hope you, you all had a, a, a wonderful, a wonderful uh, holidays. Wonderful holidays. Mmm, mucho bueno. All kinds of bueno and the bueno. Some some gray right here, look. Dude, all I did was listening to like holiday music. All kinds of like, I was like, Alexa, play me some holiday music. I want to hear uh, Mariah Carey's uh, Christmas songs. Hit it. And it was like, it was, it was Mariah. It was Mariah all the way. Dude, I can't believe Mariah like has the best Christmas songs ever. I was like, do your thing, Alexa. And then boom, baby. All I was hearing is like, da, 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 da. It's just Mariah. I forgot how good she sang, man. Completely forgot how, how good Mariah could sing. You know, because you get sidetracked with all the new pop artists. Forget about those gems, such as Mariah. Dude, yeah, holy night, yeah. <laughs> Mariah knows how to do it. <laughs> it's like, do it, Mariah. <laughs> Sing your heart out. And I forgot about Tony Braxton. I didn't want to put Tony Braxton because my wife gets jealous because I told her once once I made the mistake of telling her that I had a crush on Tony on Tony Braxton. <laughs> when I was about 18 years old, I had a crush on her. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to put any Tony Braxton right now because my wife is going to get upset. She's going to be like, why are you putting Tony Braxton for You know, one of those mistakes you, one of those, one of those uh, new mistakes you make. <laughs> that was one of my, that was my, one of my new mistakes. When I first started dating my, 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 my wife, 
It's my girlfriend back then. I was like, hey, babe, I got a, I got a crush on, on Tony Braxton, you know? We were talking about crushes, and I was like, hey, Tony Braxton. Tony Braxton does it for me. Now I can't, I can't even put her music on. <laughs> but I can put Mar I can put Mariah because I, I never had a crush on Mariah. Just her beautiful voice. Boom. There it is. Look at this. Look at those pairs. Man, I mean business when I paint. I ain't playing around. All right, let's keep moving. The only, the only way is to move forward, my friends. Let's keep moving forward. Let's do another painting. Let's see where this takes us. It's gonna be a, a little landscape. Cause I can, cause I'm cool like that. Check it out. Man, earlier I was talking about all kinds of nonsense. I was getting all philosophical on you guys. I was like, we're gonna talk about some philosophies. I ate one too many tamales, so I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave that on the, on the table. I'm gonna put that on the table. One too many tamales. I know I can feel it. I almost wish I was Catholic again so I could go repent. But I can't. I'm gonna have to live with this one. I even had a tamale for breakfast. <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> I don't know what to do with all of them anymore. Just so good. Look at that. Too many spring rolls and taquitos? <laughs> I'm telling you. Tis the season. Tis the season. I told my I told my doctor I was gonna lose I was gonna lose some pounds. Uh but you know nobody nobody uh nobody anticipated the holidays. 
Nobody did. Nobody. <laughs> I was like, hey, Doc, I know what you mean. I know. I gotta look. I gotta look uh, super beautiful and healthy. But, dude, what are we gonna do about the holidays? Can't just throw them under the rug. I gotta really try. <laughs> the damn they're good, huh? Uh, Bill says, Jose, do you have a wall easel for larger canvases? Been considering sitting up one. I don't have a wall easel, but I, I do have a, a couple of this ones. A couple of larger easels that I use for large paintings. I don't, I really, I should be using both. Uh, man, I used to have, I used to have the coolest easel in the world. I used to have a, a, one of those huge easels made out of four by fours and two by fours. Uh, the water ruined that one because I left it outside my my mother-in-law's house. That was one of my that was one of my coolest easels ever. Um, yeah, the water the water ate that one up. The sun and the water. No, I I just you know I think it's important. Yeah, set set one up. You know if you can. But I I try to I try to just use you know just regular studio easels put two of them together um, a wall easel is probably it's probably a better for many many different sizes I just don't like to work flat I had to work a little bit slanted that's how I work I'm not I'm not very good at working flat And I know lots of artists work flat, but I, I just, I don't know, there's something, I, I just, I'm not, I don't like it. I have to work a little bit slanted. Maybe because I'm used to it already. I mean, if pushing came to shoving, I, I would work flat on a wall. But I, I haven't gotten to that place yet, thank God. I can't believe it's six already. I got here so I got here super late. Because I can't complain. It is what it is. Yeah, the slant is just, uh, yeah, it just, it makes so much more sense to me. Especially if you're painting a uh, um, figurative stuff, I think. But I don't know, I've seen some artists do hyper-realism very, very flat. You know, they're, they're working flat. Maybe it's just a matter of, of getting used to something. I've never enjoyed painting flat. I don't know why. Some some uh, art teacher tried to explain to me why one time, but I didn't pay enough attention to to remember something about the optics when you're painting.
Oh, thank you. Yeah, the color palette. Yeah, that, that's that's go through. It morphs a little bit from time to time. It also has to do with like where where I'm I'm at. Sometimes I try to clean it a lot. Sometimes I. Sometimes I'm just very rare, but sometimes I'm just painting with muddy colors, which some people get super offended. Artists do. Some artists get super offended about the muddy colors, but um, I mean, I, I I think when I'm painting with just muddy colors, I feel like I'm in the zone. I really do. Uh, I remember seeing Rembrandt's paintings. Rembrandt's paintings, probably 90% of his work was muddy, muddy colors. And then, and then he would refine it with like peaches and golds, different peaches and golds. But 90% of the work that I've seen by Rembrandt was nothing but muddy colors. I thought it was, I thought it was very clever. Who else? Uh, Corbet too. Corbet painted with a lot of grays and muddy, muddy colors. People confuse them with just earth tones, but because, I mean, they don't confuse them. They are earth tones, but in today's standards, they're considered muddy. Corbet was a very uh, interesting painter, too. Even his, his portraits seem very muddy. Really beautiful. Just like Goya. Goya Goya's paintings were very, very muddy. Spanish painters tend to do that. Spanish and French painters. They back in the day, no. Millet. Millet is one of the most beloved painters. Most amazing painters and, and he painted a very muddy. All of the paintings that the, the what I've seen of Millet is very muddy. And I love it. Sacred Songline says, Jose, thank you for your suggestion about a studio sale. Uh, this afternoon, I posted on Facebook, Instagram, and, two, and sold two so far. I'm just starting to use this platform. It's very cool. I love that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jacqueline. Single stroke. We'll do wonders. It, it, it really will. We'll do wonders when you just don't... Uh, just don't put so much emphasis, you know, more so much, um, what do we call this? Don't think about it so much. So much emphasis, me mental stuff. There we go. That's the painting right there. Let's give it a something like this. Check it out. Look at that. Boom. I think this is really good. My friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to I'm going to stop this video here, but I'm going to start a new one in a few minutes. This is how I'm able to save the videos cuz otherwise I can't save them. They're too long and then and then and then I I'm not uh, able to save them. It is warm, huh? I like it. Yeah, it's pretty warm. I like it. So there it is, my friends. I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Much love. Take care.